Hello team. Good morning. Until now we have seen about uh, how to create the MBOM and BOP and BOE and how to consume the data from uh, EBOM to MBOM and MBOM to BOP. Next important thing we will learn about how to create the CCO like a collaboration context like that name says, uh, says that collaboration context and uh, whenever you want to work on this data and instead of opening each one individually we need to create the CC including these. The CC will create combining all these. Now we will see that how to create that CC. Okay. And now we need to open the uh, bomb structures which we need to which including which bombs we need to create the CCO. You need to go to file and collaboration context tree. Then we have an option called save new collaboration context. So once you go to that option and you can see here that structures that it is already been selected because these are already opened in the UI it is automatically selected. Suppose if we have a, another e-bomb opened which is not required at that time you can uncheck here like this. You can uncheck and whatever is selected that will be included in your CC that is collaboration context and here we can give the name whatever we want like CC like I will create as a training PM bomb POE BOP creation or anything just I will add a like creation so likewise we can give the name and here you can select the open on create so that it will get opened in the you are here if not it will just create backend again you need to select from this name so instead of that I'm just doing it like a open on create I just clicked on save now you can see that that CC will get created and it will be opened in the UI now it will take some time to create let's wait you can see here but here we have opened all four bombs individually here so if you come here and if you expand this you can see here this CCO contains all four bombs inside one CCO so that is the advantage of creating the CCO now what I will do I will unload all these four like which individual which we have created I am going here unload so you can see that those are all disappeared from the window this is close empty views like sometimes we have like uh, product one product two empty views right to do this and it will close those you can see here observe those gone from here so that is how we use this option close empty views you can I arrange here and uh, as we discussed about that the prospect right how you want to arrange like that if you want based on your convenience you can arrange as well okay now you understood like how to create the CCO as well so now I am copying this CC also into my folder like for my reference purpose now you are seeing that like uh, complete uh, instead of here I have copied one by one instead of sending one by one into MPP if you want to open this into MPP select this open with and to then process planner to do instead of doing that one by one you can select this CO and directly you can open this into MPP we will see that now I'm selecting here unload all here whatever is opened in the UI that will get unloaded so now I don't have anything here if you want to go to my team center now my MPP window also not opened so here I can go to my folder and go to CCO and here right from CCO you can open single also like if for example if you want only one e-bomb like you can open this or single e-bomb into MPP for example we will be having the single e-bomb like it will be vehicle specific and we can create the multiple m-bombs from the e-bomb so that in that case I can if I want to open only single e-bomb and you can open from here and then it will get open in the MPP window 
and as you already know that and ebom data will not be modified from the mbom that mbom user will not be having the access because this is the design data only design team will be having the access for that so now we will see how to open this ecu from here like i create means i am selecting this right click send to manufacturing process planner you can see that automatically mpp window will get open and our ecu will get opened here so i'm closing this home folder here and if i expand here this all four bombs contains under this ccu here if i want to see mbom now you can see here bop is enabled in this window and if you want mbom select this and click on activate so that mbom will get activated here and here you can see this here you can click in table function menu right if you click like this table function menu will come you can go to insert columns and here you can add the uh, properties whatever you want columns like what columns you want like item id item item name revision and uh, release statuses and whatever we want we have a many properties here we can add those columns here like based on our requirement what you want to see here you want to see quantity or if you want to see the item name or item description and whatever you want like a uh, owner of this uh, item and uh, like that to do all those things you can select here and you can put it here then if you click on apply and that will be visible that column will be added in the ui this is also one uh, privilege which you can utilize so this is how we created the uh, so now i will unload this also and i will show you how to open from here like you can see here at least recently whatever we have utilized right if you come here it will show here recently opened items will show here you can click from here also this will get open here okay and if you don't want like i will unload again here and sometimes you just think that in reality it is not available here so if you want to open that and uh, there is option called you can go here open open cc so you can enter the name you if we know and currently i don't know the complete name you can enter like this and you can enter find so that you can see here this is uh, opened here and you can see here by seeing the object type and relation owner like by one sometimes if we are having the multiple users and that owner details will be shown here then when it is uh, created based on that we can select our cco now currently we have only one so it is easy to identify if we have a n number of ccos created so based on the owner and the last modified and name and we need to identify now if you double click on that and that will get opened in the ui okay and this is how and now we learned about like how to create the mbom and uh, bop boe how to link each other how to uh, do the accountability check and i have showed the accountability between ebom and mbom so it's the same likewise you can do the mbom to bop but in reality we are consuming the data from ebom to mbom then mbom to bop so whenever guys are working on bill of process those guys are consuming the data from mbom not from the ebom so at that time for their validation whether they consumed all the data or not they will also use the accountability check uh, option so that they will do the between mbom and bop we can do the vice versa mbom to bop or bop to mbom likewise we can use the accountability check here and as we discussed about uh, uh, graphics right and whenever you open the graphics window and uh, if you want to open anything and currently we don't have any physical data in our structure and if it is there then we can see in the graphics here So you can see here load input and still it is uh, loading so it is taking some time to open so likewise we need to use the basic interface like what how to open the study and here also you can open from the item id if you know the item id you can enter the item id and you can click it here and if suppose if you want to search from the item name you can select here item name you can see here now this is being selected now and you can the enter the name you can click and that will get certainly we will get the results here okay and now we don't have any data here and if we have any data if you select like this 
this box and that particular data which is available under this process will be visible in the graphics so now we don't have any physical data just i showed this exam this example for your reference so this is how we need to uh, utilize the mpp until now i hope you understood thank you